Hey children, welcome back to AP Macroeconomics with your favorite teacher, me, Mr. Fritz. Today we're going to talk about calculating unemployment rates. When we're calculating the unemployment rate, it's going to come down to three formulas essentially. We need the formula to calculate our labor force, the formula to calculate our labor force participation rate, and then the formula to calculate our unemployment rate. To calculate the labor force, we're going to have to take our unemployed and add to that the employed. In this economy here, we have 80 people that are employed. So I'm going to take the 80 people with the job and add to that the people that don't have a job. In whatever country this is, we have five people that are frictionally unemployed, five people that are structurally unemployed, and 10 people that are cyclically unemployed. When we add that all up together, that comes out to 20. And our labor force is going to be 100. I'm just going to dump this in here where I already gave a spot. So there are 100 people in the labor force in this country. Next, to calculate our labor force participation rate, we're going to take that labor force, the number that we already had, or that we just calculated, divide that by the adult population or the working age population, and then multiply it by 100. So it's going to be 100 divided by 120 and that's going to come out to 83%. So 100 divided by 120 times 100 gives us an 83% labor force participation rate. Out of the adult population, whatever country this is, 83% of the people are actually involved in the labor force. And again, that means they're either employed and have a job or unemployed, don't have a job, and are currently looking for one. Finally, what we all came for, calculating our unemployment rate. To get that, you're gonna take your unemployed people, all of them, five plus five plus 10, that's gonna be 20, our unemployed people, and we're gonna divide that by the labor force of 100, which we calculated back at the beginning, and then multiply that by 100. 20 divided by 100 times 100 is going to come out to 20%. So there is a 20% unemployment rate in this country. In order to understand whether or not that's good or bad, we first have to know what our natural rate of unemployment is. And remember from the last video I taught you, the natural rate of unemployment is your frictionally unemployed plus your structurally unemployed. So in this country, it's 10. And so to find that, our natural rate of unemployment would be 10 divided by 100 times 100. And that's going to come out to 10%. So if I have a 10% natural unemployment rate, and I have a 20% actual unemployment rate, then I have a 10% cyclical unemployment rate, which means this country is in a recession and we need to do something to fix that and quit so people get their job done. So again, you can tell looking at this data right away that they're in a recession because they're experiencing cyclical unemployment. You're only gonna see that in a recession. So if this number is anything other than zero, you got a recession going on. All right, that was how you calculate the unemployment rate. Remember, I taught you how to calculate labor force, labor force participation rate, and the unemployment rate. Next time, we'll talk about something. I'm not sure. Goodbye. Ah.